Whether you're looking to start your own business, escape the classic 9 to 5, or just want to have a side hustle, dropshipping is one of the best business models to pursue. And Wix is one of the best selling channels that you can use to host your online store and sell your products there. In this video, I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step adventure as we start, run, and manage a successful dropshipping business on Wix. So even if you have no prior knowledge whatsoever, do not go anywhere. I'm going to show you everything in this video. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, Emily Wan from AutoDS and as mentioned, this video is going to show you how you can start, run and manage a successful online dropshipping business using Wix as your selling channel, as your website host, as your selling platform. One sec before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn about anything and everything that there is about the world of dropshipping with so much new content coming out all the time. That being said, let's go ahead and get started with how to start dropshipping on Wix. For those of you who are unaware with the dropshipping business model what it is is you're simply having your own online store you're gonna have and own your own online store and you're gonna sell products without actually investing in inventory or stock you're selling products from your dropshipping suppliers and once you get a sale on your store you purchase the product from your supplier and ship it directly to the end customer and you keep the profit between the source price and the selling price on your wix website so with the dropshipping business model and wix as a selling platform that supports dropshippers supports e-commerce stores it's very easy to get started and start selling once you have the proper knowledge and tools which i will provide to you in this video you can also read about it in our blog which i will leave a link to right below this video so if you're the type that likes to read you can read and if you're the type that likes to watch keep watching because i always throw in more bonus content into these videos is dropshipping on wix a good idea in the first place well if it wasn't i probably wouldn't be making this video but seriously now Let's go over the pros and cons of dropshipping on Wix so that you can make a decision if it is right for your business. The pros of dropshipping on Wix is first of all, you have no seller limits. This means that as soon as you create your account on Wix, you can add even 1000 products to your store on day one. And that's different from other selling channels that we know like eBay that gives you a three to 10 item seller limit when you create a new account. So it's much harder to get started there and it's much easier to get started here. Another pro is that we have global audience targeting on Wix. It's easy to target the worldwide audience and open up your store globally so that more people can see your products and purchase from you. And that way, of course, you can make more sales and more profit. The third pro of dropshipping on Wix is that it's fully customizable. It's your website. You can do whatever you want with it you can design it according to your brand design and colors and again that is different than creating dropshipping stores on other marketplaces like ebay or facebook marketplace where you don't have control you don't have total full control over how your store looks because it's not actually your store it's just a store that you are hosting on their platform but on wix you're going to have your own domain name and you have full control and customizable options of how your store is going to look the fourth reason to dropship on wix is scalability it's easy to scale especially once you've got your product research on point and you're already making sales your marketing techniques are on point and nothing is limiting you from scaling your business and multiplying your sales and profits since there are no selling limits and the store is completely yours it's easier to scale this way the fifth reason is that it has a low startup investment and this also goes with the dropshipping business model, but to create a dropshipping account on Wix costs no money. To start your store and customize it, which I will show you how to do it in this video, also costs no money. And even if you have to put a couple hundred bucks aside for online marketing, it is nothing compared to having a brick and mortar business or any other business of that matter. The dropshipping business model on Wix is relatively cheap and you will see how and why later in this video. The sixth pro of dropshipping on Wix is the customer is completely yours and this is a huge advantage. Not many people know about this or know how to take advantage of it. When you host an e-commerce store on platforms like Wix, and a customer purchases from your store or even leaves their email so that you can send them promotions or whatever reason that you have to give them to leave their email addresses on your website, you're collecting your customer's email addresses and this is worth a lot of money in the long run. If you have a niche store and you're selling under a specific niche like the pets niche for example, so you have a pet store and a lot of subscribers are leaving their email addresses for you, what you're going to do with that after you have a large list of email addresses under your specific niche is that you can send them email 
additional promotions to come back and purchase from your website or purchase for the first time on your website, give them some kind of discount, give them a reason to come back and purchase. And many of them will actually do that. Sending out email campaigns doesn't cost any money unless you're using real big professional tools and you're already making enough money as it is. And this is one of the best online marketing methods, but we were going to get to that later on. The customer is yours and this is really important to understand. On other marketplaces, you don't get the customer's email addresses because the owners of those marketplaces keep it for themselves. And this is one of the reasons why you want to start dropshipping on Wix. The customer is yours, you have their details, and you can go a long way with it. Now let's go over some of the cons. There is no organic traffic when dropshipping on Wix, meaning as soon as you list an item, nobody knows that the item is there, nobody knows that your store exists. So we have to put a budget aside for online marketing, as I mentioned, and that is how to overcome this con. The next con is that you have a monthly fee. Now that also repeats on pretty much any other selling platform that I know of, besides the Facebook market marketplace you don't have to pay any monthly subscriptions there but here there is a monthly fee it's not relatively high but that is something to consider the third con is it requires time to learn you cannot learn it all in one day and the reason that i'm creating this video and the reason that we have this blog article is to help you learn how to start drop shipping on wix you have to have the right knowledge you have to have the right tools Otherwise, you're diving deep into unknown territory and you most likely will not have much luck. The fourth con is it requires patience. And that's because you need to learn. You have a lot to learn. So let's just go ahead, get on with this video. That wasn't so many cons. The pros definitely outweigh the cons here, especially when you start, you take action and you test the market to see what products sell. So let's get on with it and see how to start a Wix dropshipping business. Step number one is product research. Find your niche. This is one of the most important parts when running your dropshipping business and you're going to work really hard on product research all the time even after your store is up and running and established and you're already making those sales, you're still going to put a lot of time on product research. This is how you're going to grow your business. The more trending products you sell, the more sales you're going to make at the end of the day. It's that simple when you put it that way. But to get to that point where you know what products to sell and your niche is working really well with your target audience and you're marketing the right way, it takes a while to get there and a lot of practice. So keep that in mind. And this is how to break down your product research and be able to find your niche and narrow it down faster than any other method that I know. So first you need to find your niche. How do you know how to find your niche and what niche will actually work pretty well? So first let's go over really quick on the six criteria for choosing a product. First you want to find a product that's hard to find in stores. It's hard to know sometimes what product is hard to find and what is easy, but keep that in mind moving forward. The second criteria is if the product is hard to find, then the price is also hard to guess. So if it's hard to guess the price of a product, like you're selling a certain product and it can actually sell between a certain price range and not at one specific price range. If it's hard to find this product in local stores, it'll also be hard to guess the price meaning you can easily make great profit above your break even. And I'm talking anywhere around the 25 to 50% profit margin on top of your break even. Criteria number three is you need to find a product that solves a problem for the buyer. If it's not solving any problem, then most likely no one is gonna buy it. People usually buy products that solve problems that they're having. For example, I need a phone. It solves the problem of not being able to communicate with people that I know. I buy these in earbud headphones and this solves the problem of not having music to listen to while I'm working out at the gym, for example. So every type of product that you try to look up in product research, it should solve a certain problem that your target audience is most likely having. The fourth criteria is we want to find a product with fast shipping times. We want to be able to ship quickly to our domestic audience. So when we're searching for products and I'm going to go over that, you're going to need to analyze the seller, analyze the supplier and make sure that they ship quickly to your target audience. The fifth criteria is that the products that we should sell should be bought on impulse meaning we're looking for products that enable impulse buying without the need to do much research before you buy this type of product now i know that these criteria may be confusing you a little bit and i'm going to help you narrow it down soon but bear with me here this is really important for the product research phase to really be able to find products that are trending that will sell on your stores. The sixth criteria is that our products shouldn't be that expensive. They shouldn't cost us over $30. And this is just to begin with. It is not a magic number or anything like that. But from my experience, when starting a new dropshipping store, you don't want to sell expensive products right off the bat 
because you want to learn how the market works and cheaper products are easier to sell than expensive products. Plus, if you'll have returns every now and then, you'll want to have enough money to be able to process those returns. And at the end of the day, it's easier to sell cheaper products than it is to sell expensive products. So start with cheaper ones at the start and gradually work your way up. So now that you have all of the six criteria of how to choose the right products to sell on your store, before you dive into product research, now you need to be working with a product research spreadsheet that will help you narrow down the products that you will find during your product research phase. Therefore, use the link right here, product research spreadsheet in the blog that's linked below this video. And this will help you get a winning edge on what products you need to sell. So what you're going to do is when you'll start researching for products on your suppliers websites, you'll need to add the products that you found there onto this spreadsheet, the products name, the source link, and then answer all the questions. You got this drop down menu to just make it easier. Are you passionate about this product? Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? We talked about those in the criteria. Is it safe to sell this product? For example, does it have a choking hazard? Is it dangerous? Is it flammable? Can this product be bought without much research? Even if you're not sure if you know the answers to these questions, do your best and try to be very precise with your answers. Does this product solve a problem or stand out? And does it cost less than $30? And does it comply with Facebook's ad policies. Now, even if you're not planning on selling on Facebook or maybe not even using Facebook ads for marketing, you'll still want to get acquainted with Facebook's commerce policies. It'll help you get a good idea of what you can and what you cannot sell, what are good business practices as opposed to poor business practices when starting your e-commerce business. So here, for example, you can see like adult products, alcohol, body parts, fluids, digital media, discrimination, of course, stay away from trademark products, gambling, financial instruments, hazardous goods, human exploitation, ingestible supplements, and things like that. There is more. Read this list and it'll help you get a good idea of what you can and what you cannot sell. So on every product that you add to this spreadsheet, it's free for you to use. Answer all of these questions. And after you have all of the products down in your list, it'll be easier to narrow down and choose the best products from your product research and avoid the ones that have the answer no in them. Now, there are many, many product research methods for you to use. At the end of the day, you want to test the market, see what sells, and then start multiplying your success by adding more products similar to those that are selling for you while continuing to test the market on the other side. To help you learn about the best methods and the best products to sell on your store, head over to youtube.com slash AutoDS and go to our Sell These Now playlist. Here we have an always updating, a constantly updating playlist on the best products to sell and the best product ideas along with the best product research methods. So this is one of the ways to get yourself familiar with the best products to sell and what products you should be researching. The second place is head over to autods.com slash blog, our blog page. And here, scroll down and click on products finding and best sellers. And here you can see all of the articles that we have on the best products that you can sell. And of course, the best product research methods. One of the ones that really stand out is the 100 plus best products to dropship. And we also have an ebook on this. And here you simply have all of the best 100 plus products that are trending right now for you to sell. Now, this doesn't mean that you need to copy and paste the same products. There are many, many different variations of these products, and this will help you get a good idea of what products are selling well today for other dropshippers. Now, there are many other methods here. There are many other product finding products and methods that you will find on our blog page and of course on our YouTube channel in the sell these now playlist. That is why you should subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course get familiar with our blog page. Some of my favorite methods is simply going to huge suppliers websites like Amazon. Even if you don't want to drop ship their products, it's completely up to you. You have over 25 suppliers that you can drop ship from great suppliers. Some are wholesale suppliers, some are retail suppliers. The choice is yours to make. But one of my favorite methods, just to get ideas of what products are selling well, you can simply go to their bestseller section. And here you can check out new releases, check out their bestsellers, check out the movers and shakers that shows you the most trending products in the last 24 hours, updating constantly, and get familiar with the categories on the left side, what you can sell and what you cannot sell. We have enough content on that on our blog page, on our YouTube channel. So once again, check it out. 
And once you get familiar with that, you can easily get product ideas from here and then search for them on other suppliers or add them from Amazon. Once again, the choice is completely yours. Another product research method that will help you get great product ideas is using the AutoDS system. We have an internal product research tool. Of course, you don't have to use this. Everything here is optional. There are many methods, but this is one of my most favorite methods. It's internal, it's already built in, so it's very easy to get started. And here you can see products that are selling really well. What I'm gonna do is on the left side, I'm gonna click on popular products to get to the ones that are actually selling a lot for other people, for other dropshippers. And here you can get some great ideas of what's selling well today. You can also import it to your store really, really quickly by just hovering over import product and clicking on it. Here you can also see who the supplier is, the product's information, how fast it ships. And if you click on it, you'll get more product information like the product description, item specifications, selling and return policies, customer reviews, and more. So this is a great way to get ideas of products that are selling well. You can check out new products, holiday products to prepare in, adv in advance for holidays, US suppliers, China suppliers, and soon we're also gonna add private wholesale dropshipping suppliers and their products here so that you also be able to work with private wholesale suppliers. So those are some of my favorite product research methods. I'm gonna leave you off with one more, the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. I don't know if you've heard about it before. If you didn't, head over to our YouTube channel, search for AliExpress Dropship center and learn how to use their dropshipping center. It is simply a great place to be able to learn what products are trending today. And you'll also be able to analyze them, see how well they're working, see their selling history, and of course, create filters for your search. So here I'm at the dropship center. I'm gonna click on find products to sell. And here I'm already seeing a list of products. Some of them are selling, some of them are not. This case right here is selling pretty well, but this is just a really quick glance. You can search for something specific. You can go to a specific category, choose your ship from, where which warehouse it's coming out of, ship to where you wanna dropship this, this product to, so your target audience is region. So this is another tool that I use to be able to find great products to sell. That's a little bit about product research. Don't don't forget to use our product research dropshipping spreadsheet. All you have to do, as it says here, is click on file and make a copy, and then you'll be able to edit this document and save it on your local computer. Here's a final tip from me to you before you start product research. Go for products, look for a niche that you're actually passionate about. Go for something that you like. Why? Because you're gonna be putting a lot of work into this and it's more fun to work on something that you actually enjoy instead of creating a dropshipping store on nuts and bolts and hammers and things that you're not interested in as opposed to things that you really like, like for example, a pet store or a clothes store, fashion, gadgets, anything like that. Anything that you have a passion for, look for those products when you're starting your product research. The second step to start a successful dropshipping business on Wix is to choose a dropshipping supplier. Now, as I mentioned, you have a range of over 25 suppliers to work with today, actually much more than that, but you're not gonna be working with 20 suppliers simultaneously. You should be working with anywhere between two to three suppliers at the same time, and if one ever lets you down, you'll always be able to lean on the others while looking for a new supplier to replace that one that was causing some trouble. This is always the best way to do it. We don't wanna put all our eggs in one basket and only work with one supplier. It's always good to work with multiple. So how do you start looking for some of the best suppliers? My first recommendation is to simply head over to autods.com slash suppliers. And also remember that some suppliers are retail dropshipping suppliers. Some suppliers are wholesale dropshipping suppliers. And and it is important to get to know this because some retail suppliers simply don't want you to drop you from them even though you still can and thousands are doing it but they may do things like lock your buyer accounts after they see that you've been dropshipping too much off of them and they've noticed like Amazon, for example. But for that, that's why we have automatic order services. So if you're using platforms like AutoDS to help automate your business with price and stock monitoring, quick product importing, and so much more, you can also add in order automation and allow the system to process your orders, not using your buyer account so you have nothing to worry about. And then you've got the super dropshipping friendly suppliers like CJ Dropship, Shipping, Banggood, AliExpress, Wayfair, Overstock, and more that I can see here with tens of millions of products for you to drop ship. So there are more than enough suppliers for you to work with. And you can also click on your specific region. Like for example, if I wanna target the UK audience, I wanna look for products for suppliers who have products in the UK. So I clicked on the United Kingdom and I have a list here of eight suppliers. So this is a great way to see what suppliers you can use. 
And of course, you can use them to dropship not only on Wix, but on other selling channels like Facebook, Shopify, eBay, and more. But now we're talking about Wix. So let's continue. Those are some of the best suppliers and you have a list of them in the blog below this video. Check out what they have, check out their products, see their best sellers, see their new arrivals, and see what's working well for them, and start adding those products from the niche that you're looking for on that product research dropshipping spreadsheet. At the end, when you'll start to narrow it down and you'll add those products to your stores, you'll be able to market them and then make your sales. But let's continue step by step. The third step after you did your product research and after you found the dropshipping suppliers that you wanna work with is to create your Wix dropshipping website. And this is where the fun begins. So what you're gonna do here is head over to Wix.com and you're gonna click on get started. It doesn't cost any money to create an account, so do not worry, no credit card required to get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna click on don't have an account, sign up. It's very simple, email desired password, but since I already have my account, I'm just gonna log in. And this is the dashboard that you're gonna get as soon as you sign up for your free Wix account. But before you reach this dashboard, Wix is gonna ask you some questions about the website that you want to create. So here on the top left, you can see that I call this one Pet Shop, but what you're gonna see is the following. I clicked on create new site, and this is your step-by-step -step process. So first they're gonna ask you, what kind of website are you creating? So I'm gonna go here with online store. Then I'll click on next. Now they're asking me, what do you want to add to your website? Okay, this is optional and you can definitely change this later. I'm just gonna stick with built-in and I'll even keep chat. Now we're gonna click on next. Now we have two options. Let the Wix ADI create a website for you. We're not gonna go with the automatic way. We actually wanna create our own website with the editor. This way we'll have much more options and much more customization options. So once I click on that, the next step is to choose what website template best suits your website. Now these templates are free. And that's a great thing to have because like I mentioned, you don't need to have any technical skills. You don't need to have any coding skills and you can create websites even today that will look like this, your own e-commerce website. Now you've got many, many pages of templates here. So choose whichever one best suits the type of store that you want to create. And this is why the product research is the first phase before you jump into your website design and the brand colors and all of that. Because first you need to know what niche you're going for, how it's going to look, decide how it's going to look that best suits your business. So I'm gonna keep things simple for now. I'm just gonna go with this taupe template right here. You can view it if you want. And here I'm just gonna click on edit. Now that we chose our store template, we got everything laid out here in front of us. Don't worry about these products. It's not your products. It's just an example of what it will look like once you start adding products to the layout, to the design that you chose. Now everything here is still completely 100% fully customizable. And if I just click here on add on the left side, you can see all of the options, all of the things that you can do on your website's design to design it the best way to showcase your brand. Now, I cannot go through this one by one. If you guys wanna go in depth in any one of the topics that I'm going over in this video, let me know in the comments below and I'll create a separate video for that. But in order to keep this video as short as possible, even though we're already at the 30 minute mark, I'm gonna to touch every subject on a general level. And once again, let me know below where you want me to go more in depth, which part you need the most help with. So here you can add a whole bunch of strips, text, images, buttons, galleries, decorative things, interactive banners, boxes, lists, videos, music, menu, anchors, social media buttons and links, contacts and forms. Look at all of the amazing things that you can add to your website without having any HTML knowledge whatsoever and still create a website that looks professional like any other big company that you know. So when you put the right work in, you can get all of this, the right things. Don't just go for everything because you have the choice, but make your website look good and professional. Look at what your competitors are doing and learn from their best practices. You can also create a blog section, which is great for your site to get organic traffic without having to only use paid sources. So create a blog on your niche and write valuable content on your blog articles so that people will get to your website through Google, through just searching for something that they like on Google that has to do with your niche, they will find your blog, they'll go to your store, and they will also purchase. Not all of them will, but some of them will, and more and more as you have more quality blog content, but that's just another little tip. So what should you focus on here when you're starting off to not get too confused? So once you chose your template, now it's time, of course, to customize your site's design. And what you wanna do here is, of course, add customized images, text, and videos that have to do with your brand, that complement your brand 
style and design so that this way your customers will also remember and why do i keep saying the word brand because i want to brand that in your mind so that you can brand that in your customers minds when they know your brand when they trust your brand when they create an emotional connection with your brand they also won't forget it so after they purchase from your website there's a high chance of them returning again or at least referring their friends and their family to also purchase from your known brand. So even if it's not a brand that everybody knows, even if it's a small business brand, it, you can still be well known, you can still get thousands of loyal customers to make your day. Some more things that you can do with that drag and drop editor that I just showed you that you should start off with is of course creating a background for your page, creating relevant headings and having a font and a color scheme that complements your brand. So decide how you want your brand to look, how you want the colors to be, what the design should be and always follow that those brand rules when creating your website's pages. Another great thing to customize there is of course the social media integrations. You should create a social media account for your brand on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok and more and of course add those buttons too. Customer reviews, newsletter signups is really really important to add to your website. As I mentioned it's going to get you those customers email addresses where you can send them email promotions later and get them to purchase from your store. Another thing that you have there is the free Wix logo maker and this is a great tool to actually create a professional looking logo for your website. So after getting acquainted with the template editor Choose the right template for your store. We're also gonna talk about what links to add here, your pages and things like that, but go for your design, start designing your store. It's actually one of my most favorite parts. I have a creative mind, I love designing things, and this is something that I find much joy in and I hope that you will too. And of course you can create, once again, professional websites without any HTML knowledge whatsoever. Now let's talk about creating a great professional logo for your store and a free one at that. I know that when you think free, you're probably thinking low quality, but some things in life that are free are actually pretty good. And one of those things is Wix's free logo maker. So what you're gonna do is head back to your original dashboard. And here I'm gonna hover over marketing and SEO and click on logo maker. Now I'm gonna click on get started and I'm gonna start designing my, my logo. So first, let's enter a name for this store. Let's say in this case, we're going for gadgets. So gadgets for everyone. What's your logo for? e-commerce store. Now you can skip this, but it'll help you get some more relevant results. So let's go with it. I want my logo to be dynamic, fun, techy, creative, fresh. Let's go with that. Design is important. Help us get to know your style. So you can choose something from here, or you can even say, I don't like any of them, but let's just go with this one, for example. Now let's say we like this one, and let's say we like this one better. And now we'll go with this, and one more example, let's go with this. Now they're taking all of the examples that you liked, all the information that you provided, and they're creating a free logo for us. So this is a great way to get a free logo for your site. There is no reason to spend money on it. And now it's done. So here we go. Gadgets for everyone. Check out all of these free logos that I can use on my store without worrying about copyright issues or of course, don't take anyone else's image. I can click here on load more and get more examples. Now, by the way, there are more free logo creators and more free logo generators for you out there. Just search Google for free logo makers. In this case, I'm just gonna go with this one. Now you can customize them. You can customize the look, the colors and all of that. But let's say we're just gonna go with this exact copy. I'm gonna click on next. And here you can choose a plan if you wanna take it to the next level in logo making and get more logos like for social media, icons, favicons and more. But you can keep it free and just click right down here on download a free sample, want to try out your logo. Now a file was downloaded onto my computer, let's click on it and there we have it. I have my logo and I can use it on my website. If you don't like this tool, like I said, there are more free logo makers out there and even ones that give you more logos like social media links and so forth. You can use another one called Hashful. While this is Shopify's free logo maker, it's actually a very helpful one and it's free and it also creates much more logos and also for your social media icons, favicons and more as I mentioned. So there's always more than one option, always more than one way to do things. But of course, it's nice to have it built in to the Wix system. Now that you've created your free logo, you have your store template, you did your product research, it's time to create your own domain name. Your store is getting close to being ready and now we want to create our own www.rstore.com for it and make the store complement our brand even more. To add my own custom domain, I'm going to head back to the Wix dashboard 
and I'm going to click on settings on the left side. Then I'm going to click on website settings. Now, as you see here, if I scroll down a little bit, you see the site address, the URL. This is your website's free domain. So right now the URL is https colon slash slash autolds.wixsite.com slash whatever your website's name is. So gadgets for all, let's say. But this is not very practical. It's not an easy URL. It doesn't look or feel professional. So what we want to do is connect your own branded domain. So I'm going to click on upgrade now. And as I mentioned, this one costs a little bit money, but not too much. Now we're on Wix's pricing page. This isn't just for the domain, but to actually subscribe for a monthly subscription on Wix and get much more than what they offer in the free plan that I've been showing you so far. So here we're on business and e-commerce plans because this is an e-commerce website. So here we have a few different options and you're seeing it in my local currency. You're not seeing it in USD, but you can just divide this by 3.2 about and get the USD price or wherever you live. But these plans are relatively cheap and you can start with even the basic plan, which gives you secure online payments so customers can purchase from your website, customer accounts where they can create accounts on your store, custom domain where you can have your own www.yourstore.com, which is what we're talking about here, free domain for one year. So for the first year, you're not gonna pay. And from the second year, it's gonna cost around $10 per month, depending on what domain you chose. Of course, you won't have any Wix ads, even in the basic plan unlimited bandwidth, 20 gigs of storage space, five hours of video, and an ad voucher or almost $100 to use for Google ad marketing. You'll also have 24 seven customer support and more things as you move on to the bigger plans, but only do that once you have an established store with sales and profits. So in order to connect your own custom domain, you will have to choose one of Wix's subscriptions, but it all comes with a 14 day money back guarantee. So no worries if you tried it out and you didn't really like it. Once you have those plans, then you can use the section to purchase your own domain, or you can also do it manually by simply heading over to godaddy.com, but you'll still need a Wix store subscription. And on GoDaddy, you can simply search for a domain name that you would like, for example, gadgets for everyone. Okay, we can search for that. We can see what we have available, like gadgetforeveryone.com is available and it'll cost $20 per year, but only one cent for the first year. So it really depends on what kind of domain you're going for. And it usually starts off really cheap for the first year. And even after that, the yearly subscription is nothing compared to the amount of sales and profits that, that you're making. You also have your favicon in this section. The favicon, if you don't know, is this little icon that you're seeing right up here on the browser tab. So you, you can create your own icon for your store and whatever favicon you have is what your buyer will see up here when he's browsing your website. So you can get a favicon, as I mentioned, from those free logo makers that I mentioned. Now that you have your own domain, the next thing that you wanna do is set up your payment settings on Wix's website. So what we're gonna do is head back to the settings page and here on e-commerce and finance, we're gonna click on accept payments. These are the ways for customers to pay us when they're checking out on our website. Now here it's on Israel. I can change it, for example, to the United States or to wherever you reside, change it to whatever is relevant. And here we can choose what payment method we want to have when customers check out on our online store. So for example, we can go with credit card and debit cards, PayPal and manual payments if you also want to accept cash. Many people like to go with cash on delivery, but it's a riskier option to go with, especially if you're just getting started. So start with credit cards and also add PayPal as an option since many buyers love to use PayPal in the US and not just in the US. So click on connect and continue with the connection process. Now keep in mind, in order to start getting receiving payments online, you'll need to start your Wix online subscription. So you can leave that part until the end if you want. Now let's talk about Wix legal pages. These are very important pages that we have to have on our online store. And by legal pages, I'm talking about the About Us page, the FAQ, Privacy Policy, Shipping Policy, Returns and Refunds, and Terms of Service. Now this may bore you a bit, but this is really important if you want to take care of your store and avoid any legal action because you didn't specify these things, you started selling and buyers notice all kinds of mistakes or, or things that weren't described the right way. They didn't understand how long it'll take the product to ship out, what the return policies are, and we can get into all kinds of trouble if we do not have these pages to protect us. Now to help you with this, we already have ready-made templates to help you with all of these legal pages to actually create it for you in advance and the only thing that you need to do is fill in the brackets that we have in there 
with your own information. For example, let's open the shipping policy. Of course, all of these links are in the blog article, which is linked right below this video. So here we have the shipping policy. And as you see, thank you for visiting and shopping at insert website address or business name. So here you'll enter your URL, your domain name. The following are the terms and conditions that formulate our shipping policy and continue with this. So you can, of course, change the business days, change how long it takes to reach the buyer. That's why you have these brackets. So the only thing that you need to look out for, of course, read everything, make sure that it's relevant for your website edit the brackets to whatever is relevant for your business and that way you'll have all of these templates ready for your store once you create a page policy for everything that you need the next part is to add those pages to your website so you're going to do that by heading back to the wix dashboard and here on the top right i'm going to click on edit site now it's opening the website editor in a new tab here's the website editor depending on whatever template you chose and here on the top banner i'm going to hover over add and click on page. Now, as you see, we already have the legal pages here. So we have about us, FAQ, store policies. So you have different templates for these pages. Let's go with something simple like this one. Okay, this is the about us page. And what we're going to do is edit the text that we have here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see it. I'm gonna edit the text that we have here with what we created from our ready-made templates. Okay, now you're gonna copy this process and keep doing it for the rest of the pages that you wanna have. Now, while you're editing this page, Wix is saving it automatically up here. So what, as soon as you're done and you wanna add this page to your navigation menu so that people will be able to click on it, you can simply click on the page here on the top left and manage where you want this page to be seen. Now here, for example, I have two About Us pages. I created one duplicate one by accident. So I'm just gonna click on settings here. Then I'll click on delete. Now you can make things easier by keeping this template that you have here and click on settings and duplicate that page. And then this copy won't be your about us page. You can make this page your shipping policies. Okay. And of course, edit the text from the relevant free template that you have on our blog page. So create all of these pages and make sure to add them to your navigation menu. That is exactly how you can do it. Now that you have all of your legal pages, it's finally time to start adding products to your store, market them and let them sell. That is what we're here to do, and that is precisely what we are going to do. In order to start importing products to your store, you can do so manually by going to your dropshipping suppliers' websites, of course, following your product research spreadsheet to help find the products and narrow them down. Now it's time to start adding them to your stores. So click on the source prices that you have on your product research spreadsheet and start adding them to Wix one by one. Now the manual method to do it is, of course, to go to Wix, Go to store products, click on products, click on new product. Then we're gonna go with physical products because we're not selling digital products or digital services and start adding the images, videos if you have, all of the products information, create your product page, your pricing, your costs break even, you can add custom text fields, add product options like product specifications, like sizes and things like that, inventory, shipping, and more. So you'll have to do everything manually. And of course, it's gonna take some amount of time, especially if you wanna have thousands of products in your store. And that is why I recommend using dropshipping automation tools. And the best one, this one should go without saying, is AutoDS offering you 100% dropshipping automation in an all-in-one package with so many features. We're going to use AutoDS on Wix to help us automate our price and stock so that if the product's prices or stock status is changing on our supplier's website, it'll also change accordingly on our Wix stores. So if the supplier increases the price for the product that I added manually, I don't know that they increased the price. Some buyer is gonna buy it from my website and now I have to pay a higher price and even lose profit on an order because I didn't know that the supplier raised the price. So that is price monitoring, same thing goes for stock. If the supplier runs out of stock and I have his products on my website, I don't want it to be in stock on my site either. Or I can add a similar product from other suppliers, but I don't want this one in stock. So that is what stock monitoring is gonna give me. Besides price and stock monitoring, we also have automatic orders. So we can automate all of our orders, whether using our buyer accounts or the system's buyer accounts, we can have all of that automated for us. As soon as an order comes in, it'll be fulfilled, even while we travel, even while we sleep, and also with automatic tracking information being updated on our stores so that our buyers will always know what's going on with our packages, and we don't even need to intervene in this process. Everything is being automated, and that is 
automatic orders that are fulfilled by AutoDS service. You also have many product importing features. So you can import products as I showed you the long way to do it. You can do it in just a couple of seconds, whether you want to add one product or 10 products, 100 products, or even thousands of products at once in just a few clicks. So you're gonna save a whole bunch of time and scaling your business is going to be very, very easy once you have the rest of the steps down. But this is going to make your life a whole lot easier and your business much, much more scalable. And this is the way to do it if you really wanna reach the high numbers. So what we're going to do is sign up to AutoDS if you haven't done so yet. And then we're going to start importing our products that we found from the product research spreadsheet. So if you haven't done so yet, head over to autods.com and sign up for your $1 trial. Try before you buy, see that it's working well for you and take off from there. Once you'll register for AutoDS, you'll be able to log into the platform and this is what the dashboard looks like. Now, if you're a new user and you probably are, you're going to have to add your Wix store. So here on the top left, you're going to add your first Wix store. As you see here, I've got some eBay stores, Shopify, even Facebook Marketplace, but I don't have a Wix store. So I'm gonna click here on add store and I'm gonna choose Wix store. Now, since I'm already logged into Wix, Wix is already asking me if I would like to add this site. So I'm gonna click on add to site. Then it's asking me which site because I just created another one. So let's go with gadgets for everyone. This is the store that I wanna add. And now an API connection is being made between Wix and AutoDS so that I can start importing my products, automate my orders and so forth. Now I'm simply gonna click on add to site and that is the last step in the process. It directed me back to the AutoDS dashboard. And now if I click on the stores and I scroll down, you can also see that I have my Wix store. You can of course rename the store to whatever you want. I started with Pet Shop and then I renamed it so we can call it whatever we want, okay? Now we have our Wix store synchronized with the AutoDS platform. So let's see how easy it is to start importing products. Let's say that one of the products that I wanna add is these slippers right here, okay? Let's say this is the product. You can grab all the variations. You can only grab this variation. It depends on what you have in your AutoDS settings. If you wanna learn about how to use AutoDS in the system, we have a live chat or ticket support right here, but I highly recommend going to our help center, learn about all the features in the system, and you also have a playlist for it on YouTube, a tutorials playlist to learn about all the features on the system. But if you go to your settings and you go to the lister settings and you scroll down a little bit, here you can tell AutoDS that you also want to upload variations. Just choose the right store. So in this case, I'm looking at that pet shop from Wix. I don't have any suppliers yet because I just got started. I can either add products or add suppliers. So in this case, let's go with Amazon United States because that's where I'm going to grab this product. Okay, so I'm going to add the supplier to my options. And then you've got all of the options like the default product quantity. You can have a quantity of 10 and every time you sell one unit, it'll go down to nine and then back up to 10. You can have this number on whatever you want, the item country, but what I want to go here for is the variation. So you can tell it, I want to upload all the variations when I import products, or I want to upload without variations. For now, let's just leave it without. Let's keep things simple for the first time. We're going to grab the whole product URL right up here, copy it, go to AutoDS, click on add products. We're going to go with a single product importer. Okay, but just so you know, we have a few different methods to import products to your store. You can go with a one-click importer, which is what I'm showing you now. There's the single product importer, multiple product importer, and bulk CSV if you want to add hundreds or even thousands of products at once. The process is simple for all of them, but for now, I'm keeping it simple. Publish to, I'm going to change it from the eBay store to my Wix store. And now I'm going to simply add that product URL. The source is Amazon, the region is the United States. Now I'm going to click on edit now quick. And while I'm speaking, AutoDS is grabbing all of the products information from my supplier and it's adding it to the draft section of my AutoDS store. This is where I'll be able to customize the product. And right now it's already ready. So it just took a few seconds. You can see that the product's title is the same as we had here on Amazon. I don't want to keep, for example, this KAWS, that's the seller's name. So here, for example, I can edit the title, customize it, put the best keywords that you can, make it relevant for your product. You also have product tags, so you can leave it like this for now. You can even add more tags if you see fit. Like let's say it's also for men, so I'll also add a men tag. And what you'll be able to do with these tags is analyze your results later on. After about a month or two, I wanna see what tags perform the best. And this way I'll be able to find the best selling tags and look for more of them on my suppliers and add more of them to my store and multiply my success. You've got the country's location, the brand, you can leave it blank, you can add the brand's name if you want, automation settings like the ones I talked about, stock monitoring, price monitoring, automatic orders, learn how to set that up if you want. We have full explanations on the help page and on our YouTube channel. 
Then you've got the product's description. So all of the description that we see here was copied instantly into our page. And of course you can continue optimizing this, add images, add videos, make the product stand out, the product description. Then you've got the variants. So since I only told AutoDS to not upload all, all of the variations, we only have that one specific variation, that one color. And you can edit the variation settings here. Just click on edit. And here you can change things like your break even, your fees, how much you want to profit, what type of automation settings you want to have here for this variation, the color, the size, the weight, everything was automated, taken from the supplier and brought here along with the product's images, as you can see here and the item specifications, everything was automated, but of course we can always add more. Now, if you want, you can add more variations right here. I can simply click on add variant. And now I can even choose a different supplier from a different region. So this is where you can really stand out and have listings that no other online seller has, stand out from the competition and beat your competitors to the game. Add more variations, create a nice product page that simply nobody else has. It'll give you the upper edge, especially if you're selling products that people are looking to buy and they see a whole bunch of variation options inside your listing, making it very customizable for your buyers. Once you are done optimizing your product, you're gonna click on import. And what's going to happen now is all of the products information is going to move from the drafts to the product section of my store, meaning I'll be able to see it on Wix. It'll be live on my store and anyone can go ahead and purchase it. So that's how easy it is to add products to your store. And I only showed you that one click importer. Remember that you have different methods like you can even create CSV files using the AutoDS helper Chrome extension. So if you search for a product, like let's say, men's yellow slippers are going really well for you and you want to create a niche only on let's not let, let's say not just yellow but let's say in this example we want we want with yellow here you have that auto ds chrome extension it's free click on it click on extract and all of the products information here was extracted into this extension i'm going to click on export as csv now the csv file holds all of these products then on the auto ds platform i'm going to click on add products this time we're going to go with multiple products add a CSV file and drop that file right here. Then it'll add all those products to the draft section of my store in just a matter of seconds. And you also have the URLs or IDs. So here I can just copy the products URL, say that I wanna add this one, create a line break, add another product, add another product, another product, and so forth. So those are some of the methods to import products quickly to your stores. Now I can see that my drafts page is empty. So let's click on products. And now you can see that the import process is complete and the product is now live on my Wix store. Here I can see the variations that I have available. So I've got one variation in green, meaning it's in stock. It's, it was uploaded today. If it would be on hold or out of stock, I would have the number here along with the reason when I hover over. Total one variation right here. It's in stock. We're buying it for $25 and selling for 28, but that's just an example. Don't sell for that low. All you need to do is go to your variations. You can also set the defaults in the settings. And here I can say that my fees, for example, are 15% and that I wanna make another 20% profit on top of that, meaning I'll make a total profit of $5.30 and it'll sell for $35.63. I'm gonna round my cents to 99 just to make it look better and click on save. Now, if I go to my Wix store, here we can see that that product was added to my store. Now, all of these I'm a product are demo products that Wix is adding to your store just to get you the hang of it. But now you can see the product is on my Wix store. And if I click on it, I will see all the information that AutoDS moved from the suppliers page to my website, to my product page. And here you can also edit it if you want, but it's easier to do it on the AutoDS platform. But as you can see, everything moved from there to here and it simply did it much, much faster. And this is how you can save time and invest that time in growing your business, researching more products, and don't spend it all day on just importing products to your store and hoping that the prices or the stocks don't change on your supplier's websites. Now, of course, you have more information on a full step-by-step -step process using the blog below. I'm gonna try to run faster with this video since it went on a little bit longer than I expected. But of course, you wanna optimize your product pages as I showed you. We have links that will help you understand what methods you should use and choose to increase your product page conversions. Now we wanna move on to step number eight, setting up shipping options. So what we wanna do is head back to our Wix platform and go to the settings section. Now I'm gonna scroll down to shipping and fulfillment. Here you can add more regions, 
that will be able to check out on your website if of course your product can ship to them. So first check with your sellers that they can ship to that location and add more regions to your website and you should add as many as possible. Now of course here you can set the shipping rates, how long it'll take to reach them and what regions you are referring to. And of course leave local delivery and local pickup out for now is your first store and you don't want to get confused with this. So I'm going to click on add destination. And in this case, let's add, for example, the United States. Okay, so I've got 51 states here. I want to offer free shipping, or of course, you can charge a flat rate or by weight. But in this case, you should either go with free shipping or flat rate. If your seller says, yeah, I can ship to the US, but it's going to cost you this and that, then add that as the flat rate. Now, once again, the shipping options are going to give those regions the ability to check out on your website. Otherwise, they will not have the checkout option and they will not be able to purchase from your website. So add all of the relevant regions and set up your shipping options the right way so that the biggest amount of countries that you can ship to will be able to know that your store exists and be able, of course, to check out. Now let's talk about online marketing. This is one of the most important parts, product research, online marketing and customer service, which I will talk about briefly soon. But online marketing has a lot of weight because this is how people are going to know that your store exists in the first place. And if it's relevant for your target audience, if you targeted it correctly, you're going to get purchases and you're going to be making some substantial profit. So online marketing is very essential for Wix, especially on platforms like Wix and Shopify and so forth, because as I mentioned, there is no free organic traffic here. Nobody knows that your store exists and there are multiple ways to do that. And I suggest working with more than one method. But here is how you can learn how to use the best online marketing methods. First of all, what are the best online marketing methods? We've got Facebook ads, Google ads, and YouTube ads, which is PPC ads, pay-per-click. So we pay every time they show our ad to someone. Hopefully that that someone will click and purchase on our website. Then we've also got influencer marketing platforms, which is using influencers to give a shout out to our product store or brand. And of course they need to have an audience that's relevant to our niche. Then we've also got email marketing. I spoke about it in this video. It's about sending email promotion campaigns to your buyers, but first you're going to have to obtain their email addresses by giving them newsletter signups, discounts for giving you their email addresses. And of course, when they purchase from your website, they'll leave their email address. So of course you're going to keep that in your email address database. Then once you have enough emails, you'll send out email marketing promotions to them to get them to your store and purchase or repurchase. Then we've also got blog. As I showed you, you can create blogs on Wix. And the reason for that is to get free organic traffic to your store. And hopefully that organic traffic will also convert to sales. So how do you go about learning all of this? I'm going to show you how to run Facebook ads and also influencer marketing platforms. What you want to do is head over to autods.com slash blog and here on resources, you're going to go to eBooks and you've got this eBook called how to run Facebook ads for e-commerce stores in eight steps. This eBook is 100% free, just like this video, just like these tutorials. And here you're going to learn all of the steps to running successful Facebook ads, all of the basics for setting up, creating your Facebook ads account, installing the Facebook pixel and what it's all about, audience research, how how to target your audience, how to create Facebook video ads, whether you have a video for your product or not, how to run and create your Facebook campaign ad goals and your ad set, launching your Facebook ads and learning to analyze and optimize them. Now, this section is filled with a whole bunch of information. So you're going to have to grab a couple cups of coffee. And we've also got all of this information on our YouTube channel. So if you head over once again to youtube.com slash autods, you've got this video right here, how to run Facebook ads in eight simple steps. This video is an hour and 10 minutes long. I think this video that I'm recording now is even longer. And as you see here, you have a step by step process showing you all of the ins and outs and how to create successful ads on Facebook. Here is that audience research spreadsheet. And once again, I'm taking you step by step, all the menus, all the things that you will come across and how to best optimize your Facebook ads, run them the right way, set your daily budgets and everything that comes with the territory. So once again, autods.com slash ebooks, youtube.com slash autods. Everything you need to know is there. Next, let's head back to our blog page. And here we're going to search for influencer. 
Here you've got an article on influencer marketing platforms. And if you click on that, you'll learn about the best influencer marketing platforms that you can use when running your e-commerce business. And of course, you've got an embedded video inside where I also give you more information on that subject. So if you want to watch, watch, if you want to read, read, but here we've got the best influencer marketing platforms that you can use to find influencers, see how well they're performing for other people who, who use their services and simply find them and start negotiating your deal. So that is influencer marketing platforms. And I talked about the rest of them. Google ads and YouTube ads is similar to Facebook ads. Their menus might look a little different, but it's all the same at the end of the day. It's running PPC ads. And once you learn Facebook ads, you'll have no problem learning how to run Google and YouTube ads. So as I mentioned, you got the eight steps to run Facebook ads for your e-commerce store. You can also use the link provided in our blog below this video. And if you want to create video ads, I highly recommend using Waving Pandas. We've got a 10% discount link in our blog once again below this video, and they will create professional videos for your product so that you will be able to stand out even more from your competitors. And even if your supplier doesn't have a video for your ad, they can still create one for your product. And the videos is one of the best ways to promote your products, to showcase to your target audience what this product is, what problem it helps solve. So be sure to include that in your video and of course, make it unique to your brand. And you've also got the link to the influencer marketing platform. So you can use it from there instead of searching our blog. And you've got more information, of course, in the blog page below this video. So now that your store is up and running and you've started marketing your products, you're going to start getting those sales whether you like it or not. And what you wanna do now is fulfill your orders and send them to your buyers. So of course, there's the manual method of doing it by simply going to your supplier's website, purchasing the product and shipping it directly to your end customer, which means you don't even see the product It'll get to your buyer from your supplier. Your buyer will be happy. And that is that you will keep your profit. But on the other hand, if you want to be able to scale successfully and have your customers even happier by getting products even faster, you want to enable automatic orders. If you want to learn more about that, check out our YouTube channel, search for fulfilled by auto DS. This is what it's going to look like. So here in the videos fulfilled by auto DS, check out this service over here and how that works. And not only that, you can also have automatic orders. So not just fulfilled by auto DS, which is using auto DS's buyer accounts to fulfill your orders. You can also use automatic orders, which is still order automation, but using your buyer accounts. So learn about the differences between those two. You opt into them through the auto DS system by simply going to settings, in plans and add-ons, you're going to enable the orders processor, and then you're going to enable it in the store settings in the orders, you're going to have the automatic orders on al along with fulfilled by auto DS if you're using that service. And you can also turn on tracking conversion, which is included with the automatic order service. So for example, you're dropshipping from Amazon who don't always supply trackable tracking numbers. This will convert it so that it will be trackable. Now let's click on the order screen and get an idea of what it looks like. When an order comes in, it can either be in pending status or it'll automatically send to auto order depending on what you have in your settings. More explanations, of course, in our tutorial guides. Now, if you have it on pending and you send it to auto order or whether it happens automatically, the order will be processed automatically depending on whether you have the automatic order service or the fulfilled by auto DS service. It's going to process the order from your supplier's website using either your buyer account or auto DS's buyer account, depending of course on what you chose. Once it's ordered, it'll move to ordered status with the order ID provided by the supplier that you used. Once tracking information is available from your supplier, the status will also change automatically this time from order to ship with the tracking information. And once it gets delivered to your buyer, it'll be in delivered status. You can also start a return once it's delivered. So once it's delivered, you'll have an option to request a return. And if you are eligible for a return, depending on your supplier's return policies, you'll have a return label right next to your order and you'll be able to download that return label and send it to your buyer. This is if you're using automatic orders. If you're doing everything manually, you simply need to go to your supplier's website, ask for a return label, wait for them to send it to you, and then you can send it to your buyer. If you are not in your return window, for example, if your supplier gives you a 30 day return window and your buyer asks to return the item after 60 days and you try to open up an automatic return, you'll get this return failed message saying that your return window is closed. So all of your orders are going to be automated. You do not need to worry about it. You can get all the information here, including how much it costs and your profit and everything else. Just click on customize display and show the system what you want to see first. So everything is very customizable. And of course, you've got the products page, which I haven't showed you yet. Here you can see all of the products that you have in your stores and you can 
and use the smart filter system to see exactly the type of products that you want depending on certain conditions. The last step after we've learned about automatic orders is learning how to provide exceptional customer service. And this part is really important. You want the buyers to return and purchase from you again. We're not looking for just one-time purchases. So check out your email, see if your buyers are reaching out to you and make sure that every one of your buyers gets a response. Sometimes they can give you hints to things that are not working well on your website and then you'll be able to optimize it and make more sales from there. And if any buyer has any problem, like for example, if one product isn't as described, you can reach out to the supplier and make the adjustments. And for any other reason that they have to reach out to you, they can give you all kinds of tips on how to improve your website. And also you can offer them all kinds of promotions when they reach out to you so they can actually go and purchase or repurchase from your site. Anyway, a customer that's getting fast customer support and fast shipping will most likely return to purchase from your store again, or at least refer their friends and their family, as I've mentioned earlier in this video. Provide the best customer service that you can. Remember that the customer is always right, even when they're not. Don't argue with them. Give them the service that they're looking for. Even if it sets you back a little bit, it's worth it for the long run of your brand. Customer service is one of the most important things along with product research and marketing your online store because if you don't have these three things down as best as possible, you're not going to be making much sales or you will peak, but your sales will also drop in a matter of time because you're not offering great customer service and it's only one-time purchases. So it'll always be peaks and drops and peaks and drops instead of a very healthy and balanced peak that's always going up and up and increasing as time goes on. Now you have more information on the blog below this video Video, like how to scale and grow your business once you start making some sales, like using upselling and cross-selling apps. You have free apps and also paid apps to use on the Wix app market, card abandonment apps, review importers where you can import reviews from your suppliers product pages to your product pages on those same products, apps that will help you with marketing, social proof like testimonials and so forth. And of course, the benefits of working with multiple suppliers, which I mentioned in this video and more guys, there's always more to learn. So I try to touch every important subject in this video. Let me know if there's anything that you feel that was missed out or if there's anything that you would like me to dive deeper down into it, more in depth information on things that I talked about or things that were maybe even missing from this video. Let me know in the comments below and I will create more content for that. Let me know how I can help you take the next step in your e-commerce business good luck with Wix dropshipping don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to always learn about your next step to grow your e-commerce business no matter what your level is good luck with your Wix dropshipping business and i'm waiting for your comments below